In today's video, we will cover SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS 3-axis tool paths. The first thing I'm going to open is the CAM modules data sheet. You may have been sent this or found it on the internet. Um, it's readily available and it basically goes through all of the different modules that are available within SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So you can see on the left here, this is the SOLIDWORKS CAM standard and professional. And then we go into all of the different CAMWORKS packages in blue. So what I'm going to talk about today is the difference between the three axis tool paths for both SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. And that is probably the most confusing question uh, that I get asked for these different modules and what's included and what the difference is with those. So with two and a half axis milling plus, you can see there's a little star beside it. Um, same with three axis milling level one, there's a little star and you can actually see all the little stars are at the bottom here. And they're kind of explained with the tool paths uh, that are located there. So the next page here, we've got a breakdown of each of these. So two and a half axis milling plus, we can see it is included in every single package. And what that includes is an area clearance roughing tool path, a flat area tool path, and a Z level finishing tool path. So three different three axis tool paths that can be used within SOLIDWORKS CAM standard and professional, as well as all of the CAMWORKS packages. Where we get up into the three axis milling level one, you can see that this is included in SOLIDWORKS CAM professional, as well as all of the CAMWORKS packages. And that just gives us more options inside of the Z level finishing tool path that allows us to use a combined cycle for both steep and shallow machining. So I'll show you the difference inside of the software for all of these different tool paths and what can be expected. We've also got a three axis milling level two, and that's going to be included in the CAMWORKS milling standard, milling professional and the premium packages. So basically this is all of the three axis tool paths the three axis milling level three includes all of these that were previously mentioned, as well as a multi-axis operation, which includes undercutting, fillet machining, and nerve surface machining. This is included in both CAMWORKS Milling Professional and the CAMWORKS Premium packages. So this is the highest end three axis tool path package that is provided by CAMWORKS. So let's take a look at this inside of the software. I've opened up SOLIDWORKS CAM and I've added in some of the three axis tool paths to this part. So you'll see that we've got the area clearance, the Z level and the flat area. Um, in the tool path options, you can see that these are the three options that are available within SOLIDWORKS CAM, both standard and professional. The area clearance, like I said, is a roughing tool path. So we can use that for three axis roughing. The next tool path is the Z level tool path. Um, you can see with this tool path, basically it's going to create a lot of cuts in very steep walls. Anywhere there's a large difference in the Z direction, um, that's where we're going to see a lot of the tool path. So you can see this wall would be machined really well. Um, whereas when it gets to the flatter areas, that's where you're going to see um, issues with the tool path and where we might need to use another tool path to make this look a lot better. The other tool path that's available in this is a flat area tool path. So this basically will go through your selected surfaces and it's going to find the flat areas um, in the direction that you're machining. So my mill part setup is in this direction. So my tools will be coming in the Z direction this way. Um, and then the flat areas are basically found from that plane. If we take a look at our PowerPoint again, you can see that the two and a half axis milling plus includes area clearance, flat area and the Z level. Where we get up into the three axis milling level one, this is the Z level finishing combined cycle for both steep and shallow machining. So if we take a look at that in the tool path, this allows us to make different changes to the actual settings in order to further machine these flatter areas. And we get a much nicer surface finish. The next thing I'd like to show is the next section here, which is the three axis milling in level two. 
So that's going to be in our Camworks package. So let's open Camworks. So you can see that Camworks looks identical. Everything looks the same, except now when we have a three axis tool path, you can see we've got quite a few more tool paths that are available to us. So we'll take a look at these. In Millpart Setup 1, I've actually just split this into two different setups. So we've got area clearance, Z level, and the flat area from our previous tool pass in SOLIDWORKS CAM. Um, and now we've got a second setup here, and that's going to be our uh, three axis tool pass from within CAMWORKS. So the first one is a pattern project, and you can basically see exactly what that's going to do. It's going to take a pattern um, and it's going to put it across the actual organic surface that we've selected. So the three, any three axis surface, it's going to place this tool path. So again, depending on what we want to cut, this could make sense in certain areas. We might, might want to cut just this center section with the pattern project. Again, we could also use the Z level, a combination of the Z level and the pattern project to maybe get the top. Lots of different options there. There's quite a few different patterns that you can use with pattern project, spiral. Uh, this is a slice and there's a radial option, quite a few different options. The second one here is the constant step over. So the, what the constant step over does is basically it's in the name. Um, it creates a constant step over from the actual outer perimeter that you've selected. So I actually have this selected as a containment area. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the tool path and it's going to give us a constant step over all the way into the center. So again, we can create different sections that we might want to cut with this particular tool path. But that's again, a really nice option for good surface finish. We also have the pencil mill tool path. This is a really great tool path for getting into really tight corners. So I've used a smaller tool here and I'll get down into the corners here um, and we can even go smaller. We can use multiple different step overs as well with that, but basically it traces the tight corners on the part that we selected. The last one that's available here is a curve project tool path. So basically what I've got here is some text. I've actually taken that and projected it onto the curved surface and basically created a tool path from that. So it's like great engraving on a three axis surface. And again, these are all great tool paths that are available within CAMWorks. So the top three are available in SOLIDWORKS CAM and all of the tool paths are available in CAMWorks. So the last one we want to take a look at is the three axis milling level three. So this is where we've included now a multi-axis operation that includes undercutting, fillet machining, and nerve surface machining. We can do fillet machining in some of these other tool paths. It just doesn't have the flexibility that the multi-axis operation has. So we'll take a look at that next. So we're back inside of CAMWorks. I've again added a mill part setup from the original. It's still in the same setup, just split. And this is the third one. And this is showing a multi-axis tool path. So basically you can see there's three axis milling operations and then there's a multi-axis milling operations. So that would be included with the CAMWorks Milling Professional and the CAMWorks Premium packages. Um, and the nice thing about this tool path is there is a lot that you can do inside of this tool path. You can pretty much create whichever type of tool path you want. And again, you can see the axis control is currently set to three axis for this particular tool path. But look at all of the different patterns that are available inside the tool path. I'm currently using a flow line between curves. So I've selected two different curves and created a tool path between those to get this fillet. There's also a roughing section within this tool path. So this allows you to add roughing to your three axis tool path as well. So again, that's the three axis milling level three, and that is included in the CAMWorks Milling Professional and the CAMWorks Premium Package. So those are all of the different three axis tool paths that are both included in SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWorks. Please contact CAD Micro if you have any questions regarding these packages.